Good morning, everyone. Dr. Victoria Skirbo here, speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is Sunday, April 4th. If you're in uh, the States, this side of the world, or this could be Monday, April 5th, if you're in Australia and New Zealand, uh, or that side of the world. <laughs> you could be other places, too, I imagine. Um, so today, the moon is in uh, Capricorn. The moon moved into Capricorn yesterday. We do have a uh, last quarter square today of the moon and the sun. Of course, the moon in Capricorn is a practical moon. The sun in Aries can be somewhat impractical, <laughs> um, but instinctual and initiatory. This last quarter square is uh, is the pure energy of that last quarter square with the sun in Aries and the moon in Capricorn. Um, that's the one thing about the uh, Aries sun as the moon goes around uh, the cycle back to the uh, new moon, uh, which will happen uh, next in... Uh, oh, actually, the new moon is in Aries. So... Um, but this pure energy of um, Aries and Capricorn brings up that crisis in consciousness, that crisis in belief, uh, questioning our beliefs, questioning authority. Um, and it's interesting because today um, is the Christian, um, um, the Christian. I'm sorry, holiday, I guess, celebration, I should say, of the resurrection of the Christ. Um, and so it's an interesting day to have a crisis in belief. Um, there is that sort of resurrection energy that is so prominent at this time of the year uh, anyway, um, as the earth wakes up uh, and we ourselves wake up. So you can you can be feeling a... Uh, an awakening, you can be feeling a uh, being born again, uh, or you can be, you know, questioning that whole, not so much the whole idea of being born again uh, and resurrection, but um, is it exactly what the what the what the preachers say? Um, we also have a square of the moon to the to Venus, which is in Aries as well. Um, and this is, uh, again, a crisis in, in belief. Um, what are our values? What is important to us? We, we question that. But, um, and there's also uh, an irritating energy between the moon in Capricorn and Mars in Gemini. Mars in Gemini would, you know, it's kind of like, let's do all this stuff all at once, going in opposite directions. <laughs> And the moon in Capricorn is like, can't we just do it once? Can't we just get it right the first time? Uh, the answer to that is no, <laughs> actually. And then um, the last aspect is is actually a lovely aspect, which is much more eastery in my <laughs> in my estimation, and that is a sextile to Neptune. It opens the lines of communication. Um, so if you have some doubts, uh, prayer, meditation, quiet time connecting to source, uh, uh, practicing compassion um, is a way to sort of bring us back to uh, sort of out of our heads and into our hearts. So uh, all in all, a pretty good day. I mean, there's a couple of irritations, but for the most part, it's a, it's a good day. So have yourself a great day, guys. Like and subscribe, and I will see you again tomorrow. And uh, I think I am going to get the astrology of the week out today with the, the look at the astrology and then the reading at the, uh, for, the, for the week. All right, guys, take care. Much love. Uh, happy Easter for those who celebrate that. Uh, blessed Passover for those who celebrate that. And whoever else I missed, have a great day.